So next up, Gail with soft and fluffy things. Ouch, I don't know if I can speak after that, after that joke. <clears throat> so soft and fluffy things, soft and fluffy things like lovely soft ice cream, delicate little feathers, fluffy wool. These are some of the images that came up when I searched for soft with Google images. And I went and searched for synonyms for soft in, um, in a thesaurus. And I got easy, fluffy, hence the soft and fluffy things, uh, creamy, particular favourite on here, velvety. I like velvety. I might reuse that one. Mushy, uh, supple, thin, spongy, all very delicate little words. So I then looked up antonyms for soft and I got difficult, hard, strong, heavy, unyielding, unbendable, rough, intolerant, heavy, did I say heavy already? All of these words and the images that you get if you search for, you have to be a little careful with the search, but with an image search for difficult and for hard and you get somebody working out very seriously, a difficult puzzle, a hard hat, building sites, a big roughy tufty sort of pictures. And the reason I was looking for all this was like many of my lightning talks, this began with something on Twitter. And it was Ashley saying, this is some feedback about um, what was wanted for some kind of meetup. I can't remember what kind of meetup. What are the biggest challenges you are facing at work? Team culture comes the answer. What kind of topics do you not want to see? Soft skills, non-technical talks. So I'll let you mull that, see what you think about that one. Ashley, as you can see from the blue line running down here, did have a little more to say about that. How on earth, she said, do you address culture without human skills? There is nothing soft about them. They are the hardest. And I went, I kind of managed to overlook the fact that she said human skills there, actually, I realised looking back at this, but never mind. I went, OK, look, I refuse to use soft skills because I absolutely agree. There's nothing soft about them. There's nothing feathery and soft wool and ice cream about them. They're, they're really tough and not everybody has them. And it's really hard to try and teach people to have them. So I refuse to use soft skills, but I don't really have a good alternative term, which is kind of awkward. And then I put in what does awkward, but never mind. You can't, can't fix that on Twitter. Too late now. We need something equally brief, I said. Any suggestions? And Miss IG Geek, whose name sadly I don't actually know, suggested humaning skills. And I like that. I think that's really, that captures the essence of, of what you need alongside the others. So I am scrapping soft skills, I'm scrapping hard skills and technical skills, and I'm going with computering and humaning, which come together. You cannot have software development without either one of them. They, they merge in being able to do the software development, but you cannot, unless you're one person alone in your basement doing one small thing that only you write, you can't do it without the humaning. And obviously you can't do it with the computer, without the computering, and it just that bit stands to reason. But I think people tend to forget that you can't do it without the humaning either. So that's all I wanted to say, a bit about terminology. I'm throwing in a gratuitous picture of me showing off the fact that I have a jumper with pockets. I had shouts of joy for, for, for this fact from, from ladies and audiences. And also just a quick plug for some workshop materials. I don't, I don't stand to gain anything from this financially or anything, but I've got some workshop materials that help people to discuss those humaning skills where they sit in, in that, as part of that intra intersection in the middle of the Venn diagram there. And there you go, uh, with no danger of a klaxon whatsoever, I trust, I am done, thank you. Thank you very much indeed, Gail. And I would very much love to get better at humaning. So, who was the coldest Roman emperor? Julius Freezer. 